In this GNS3 topology, you need to configure both DMVPNs as well as BGP. Here's ISP Router 2 show IP interface brief. We can see various interfaces on the router, show IP protocol. No protocols are currently running. So router BGP 65,000. That's the autonomous system number that this router is part of. So neighbor 8871 remote AS 65,001. That's ISP router 4. And while I'm here, I'm going to configure the other neighbors. So this is ISP router 1. Autonomous system number 65000. And I need to configure ISP router 3. As you can see, the neighbor to ISP router 4 has come up. Networks that I need to configure are 8870, 8880, 8890, and the loopback, which is 2222. And I didn't configure 8840. That's the link to Cisco.com. So that's now configured. We've got one, two, three, four, five networks that we need to configure. So show run section BGP. We've got five network commands on the router and three neighbor relationships. So show IP BGP summary. Neighbor relationship to ISP4 is up. Neighbor relationship to ISP router one and three is down. We need to still configure those neighbors. Show IP BGP. We can see some BGP routes in the routing table. So as an example, I can ping the loopback of ISP router four and the loopback of ISP router 5. So ISP router 2 is configured with BGP, but to form a neighbor relationships to the internal routers, we either need to configure this router as a route reflector or set up a full mesh between the routers. So I'll actually change this to use loopbacks, which is better practice within an autonomous system. So router BGP 65,000. I'll remove these neighbor relationships. And what I'll do is configure them via the loopbacks. This is the loopback of ISP router one. I can verify that by doing show IP interface brief on ISP router one. There's the loopback of router one. And this is the loopback of ISP router three. So I'm going to configure the routers to use loopbacks within the autonomous system. That's a better practice than using physical interfaces. Doesn't really make much difference in this topology because we only have one physical link between the routers. But if we had additional links, it would be better to use loopbacks. Now, for each of those neighbors, we need to specify the update source, which is going to be our local loopback interface. Basically, we need to tell BGP which IP address to initiate connections on. Both sides need to agree on the BGP neighbor relationship IP addresses. So I've got the internal BGP neighbors configured and the external BGP neighbor. 
So show IP BGP summary. Internal neighbors are idle at the moment. And that's because I need to configure BGP on those routers. So here's ISP router one, show IP protocols. BGP is not running on this router. So router BGP, 65,000, neighbor 2222, remote AS 65,000. That's ISP router two, neighbor update source, loopback zero, network, 8880 network 8810 network loopback so i've configured bgp let's confirm that i did it right there's our BGP configuration. One thing we do need to do is configure an IGP because otherwise these neighbor relationships will never come up. So router OSPF1 network and I'll only enable OSPF in the ISP network. So I'm not going to enable OSPF towards the customer. So show IP OSPF interface, and let's use a brief rather than looking at all that detail. We can see that OSPF is running on this interface and the loopback. I need to do something similar on ISP router two. So router OSPF one network 8881. nine one and i need to advertise the loopback show ip route notice we have learnt the loopback of isp router one through ospf show ip bgp in bgp notice we have rib failure because ospf is deemed to be a better routing protocol to get to the loopback of ISP router one. In other words, OSPF's administrative distance is lower than IBGP. So the OSPF route is put into the routing table. Show IP BGP summary. We can now see that we have a BGP relationship to ISP router one, and we've received three prefixes from that neighbor. So that looks better. ISP router one, we can see that the BGP relationship came up. Show IP BGP summary shows us that we've learned 10 prefixes from ISP router two. Show IP route, we've learned a lot of routes. So as an example, can we ping ISP router four? Yes, we can. Can we ping ISP router five? Yes, we can. And I can trace to that router and I can trace to ISP router 5 which is an autonomous system 65001. I've saved the configuration of those routers. Next router to configure is ISP router 3.